Hello everybody of the YouTube and the Nerd Nation. I'm the Nerd of LPs, and welcome back to more Madagascar. In the last episode, we did Mysterious Jungle, and that was a big pain to do. And in this episode, we're gonna go to Mysterious Jungle. Now, I'm gonna warn you a little bit, I did record this earlier, and the computer gave me the freaking face and decided to go blue on me, which is like, freaking awesome. So, you may know I'm kind of upset because of that, but hopefully I can relax and hopefully it doesn't do it again. If it does it again, then just know I'll be getting a MacBook instead. Anyways, we're replaying Save the Lemurs again in this episode, so let's hope it goes well. Because the last time, not so well. I can tell you that. Very cockroaches. Maybe it was just their bedtime. How often do you run to bed screaming? Almost every night. We know. Hello? Anybody out there? No! That was weird. Do you think they believe me? Mort, did it ever occur to you that saying you aren't here proves that you are here? I don't get it. Do you think they're friendly? I don't know. It would make me very happy if they were. Oh, would it? Yeah, I would be like so happy. What would you say if I told you I had a plan to find out if they were friendly? That would be neat. What's the plan? Whoa. Ah, what is it? He's kind of cute. Me, please, hurt, <laughs> don't. Oh no, he's a masochist. I don't think that's what he meant. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> we're gonna be here a while. What's happening? Well, they haven't eaten him yet. I think we're in the clear. Splendid. We shall form a welcoming committee and we shall welcome them. You're not going to eat me? Now, why would anyone want to eat you? A good question, and I will answer it for you. Wait, why would anyone want to eat Mort? Because he's really annoying, Your Majesty. Because he's really... That's not it. It's something else. Because we are lemurs, and fooses eat lemurs. Because we are fooses, and fooses eat lemurs. <laughs> Fusa? Where? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't... Uh, hmm. Anyway, we would like to welcome your giants who are not going to eat Mort. Where do you hail from? We're from New York. What zoo is this? Zoo? I don't believe I'm familiar with that term. Is that a New York expression? We call this island we live on Madagascar. Madagascar? Marty, do you know what this means? You've actually made it to the wild. You got your wish, Marty. Hey, you're right. I mean, uh, yes, of course. The wild. I can't believe it. So wait, who are you guys again? I am Julian, king of all lemurs, and this is Maurice, and we are the welcoming committee, so welcome New York Giants! Um, excuse me, I, I couldn't help but notice some of your subjects screamed at the mention of the word Fusa. Is this something we too should be screaming about? Fusus? Well, Fusus are the sworn enemy of us lemurs, the main problem being that Fusus like to eat us. I don't like the sound of that. What do these Fusus look like? They look kind of like... Uh, that! They do look kind of hungry, don't they? Hey, there go my friends again! Wait for me, guys! Do not worry, my new friend. We will meet up with him later, for now we need to find a place to hide until this inconvenience has passed. Inconvenience? These fools look pretty mean. Follow us. That is the secret passage under the Baobab tree. Follow us. Inconvenience? That's a pretty considerate wording. King Julian. Okay, let's never do that again. So, where do we go now, guys? Follow us, Marty! A new party awaits! I 
can't decide if you guys are blissfully ignorant or just ignorant. And this is what I was talking about, like, by I had to re-record this, and this game is a jerk, and likes to save, and you, sir, can Oh, never got this. So, uh, that's kind of crazy. I never even bothered to kick that before. <laughs> so this area, you gotta climb up to King Julie. Excuse me, you can die. I can take your health. That'd be nice. Almost, almost well hidden, actually. Alright, so we gotta go back to King Julian and climb up, but I really want to see if I missed any tokens. Pretty sure I missed a lot, so this is gonna be the first level we 100%. Obviously, because this things like these are stupid. And we hit each other. It was like some sort of lovely connection. But again, we need to climb ourselves up here, and I glitched again. What the heck? This is known for glitching, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it should be obvious, but there's a nice little shortcut up there. So that's not bad. And King Julian, you guys might have seen him already, but King Julian is pretty much the stupid, selfish king of all lemurs. Like, literally, he's all he thinks about is himself, and when he's not thinking about himself, he's thinking about stupid... Whoa! This is glitchy land, apparently. I've seen all the glitches now. There's actually, in the last recording, a really funny glitch that happened while I was doing these th while I was doing this episode, and it was a really hilarious glitch. Like, I really wish I could show you guys again with that glitch. What? Okay, that was kind of crazy, actually. Also, I'm, I do apologize, it's kind of dark. I would recommend turning up your brightness. I'll probably turn on the brightness or something at this level, but it shouldn't really be too dark, so it's not that bad. There we go. And we gotta basically gotta follow King Julian. Unless that happens. That's a nice game. That is really nice. Sure. Make me fall down from there. See if I can. See if I freaking can. Alright, so I'll meet you guys back up there in just a sec. Apparently. Making my way downtown, logging around, doing something, getting copyright infringements. Alright, so I'm back up here. Wasn't really too bad of a walk. Now we gotta kick this thing down for King Julian. And we gotta kick this around here. Well, you don't have to kick down the rocks, but I prefer kicking down the rocks because it's fine and I can kick stuff. When you kick stuff, you can take advantage of that kicking by a lot. Also, you may recognize these spiders from the previous level or the previous episode. Yeah, they're back and meaner than ever. Well, actually, they're not as mean. They weren't dropping us off Kate off uh, clips, luckily. We're just doing it by ourselves, and luckily that was only once. Come on, Marty. However, what we can do is... I'll show you one of me by, um, actually, by all of the things we did here. I got all the rings, I... So I got all the rings, so just so you know, this will be the closest to 100% as possible if I don't get all the tokens. If I do get all the tokens, then congratulations, you see in a level which is freaking 100%. And like I said before, you can actually replay these levels over and over again. Uh, there was actually kind of a funny little glitch. I really wish the computer didn't go freaking blue so that I could show you that King Julian actually ran from here to this little rock right here and then back. If you could witness that before, you know how it's really funny. It's pretty funny. Hey! Wow! Just... Wow! Really? Screw you too, game. Screw you too. Wow! Wow, game. Can you be any more cruel to me? Can you be any more cruel? I thought not. Back up there we go. So, um, before we were interrupted by things falling, or yeah, we were right here, obviously, but I, I guess I kind of moved early. We were right here doing stuff. So we gotta do this thing again, do the thing with the thing and the thing, and die, would you? I I don't have time for your business. You can also kick this down for some optional coins and stuff like that, it's completely optional, you don't have to do this. But since I got almost all the tokens, it's completely pointless, so you can actually take a shortcut right here and jump from here. It's a little windy up here, too windy for us smaller creatures. Yeah, I noticed. I'm afraid some of the other lemurs may be stuck out there. Can you brave the wind and save them? Me? It's cold out there. 
Yes, but you are just large enough to survive the powerful gusts of wind, provided you get behind some of these barriers and use them as shelter until the wind passes. All right, so we have to rescue four lemurs. Luckily, our first one is right over there, and watch what happens when you try to fall off. The wind picks you back up, and you don't die, which is nice. So we need to collect four lemurs, and also I want to show you what happens when you just get blown away. You're not in any barriers, it just blows you away, and it's pretty much good. So for this part, we don't have to duck, however, keep in mind that you have to press the Y button. Also, you can now slide with the Y button after you've run, so that's kind of cool. Keep this in mind as well, because you're going to need these two tactics, and I could have sworn I was on the boulder. I could have sworn I was right there. Ah, I was right there, wide open. Whoa. Wow, really game? Thank you. I much needed that. Such cruel. Very win. Alright, and two more over here, so let's not die. Or not get blown by the wind. We can't die, and let's not get blown by the wind. Yeah, if we could die, this would be a pretty much a cruel. Area! I pressed the Y button too soon. Or not too soon, too late. My bad, my bad. Uh, great. Yay. Doing this again. I wonder, can I make a shortcut? Yes, I can make a shortcut, actually. That's cool. I'll have to keep that in mind the next time. Can I come over here? Let's do that. Is make that shortcut. All right. Cool sauce. I've actually done something wrong. Oh! <laughs> Pro skills! NBA can touch me! I said can't, not can, but... All right, so I'll just wait for this wind to go. And then... Make our merrier way over here. I knew the wind was coming, and I'm um, probably just going to stay down here because I wasted more time than I should, and hopefully back over here, and now we have to save five lemurs instead of our usual four. So let's go ahead and make our merrier way over here, that's our first start. Also there's a pool over there in which you can get some tokens, but I've already gotten almost all the tokens except for one, now apparently. Um, in the previous run, so all I have to do is just do this. It makes the episode a bit shorter, which I guess is a kind of a positive thing. For some of you that don't like long episodes, it might be a bit shorter because the blue screen came on, but watch, the blue screen is actually going to happen in... Um, you, if you've seen other Let's Plays of this game specifically, because as underrated as it is, there's actually been a lot of Let's Plays of this. Um, you would probably see some of the tokens that were hidden. Also, Man, right. Marty has a high jump, apparently. I'm surprised he didn't use a high jump yeah. kick. Did I miss one? I missed one right here. Can I make a short cut? Nope. No, I can't. I thought it would be so cool. And I, I thought it would be a cool kid make a short cut. Nope, I was completely wrong. So, hide behind here. And I come over help here. Us, grab us. this lemur right here. You wait right here. Me. And then proceed to go. Actually, I'll just wait right here because if we go over there. We're probably screwed by the wind. And in case you do need to uh, speed up your process, you can just go ahead and slide over. It's a good suggestion, and I would recommend doing it a lot because it really does help. It really, really, really does. So let's go ahead and save our last lemur. I missed the last lemur, and I honestly deserve that. I honestly deserve that. So, um,. Back through the terrious route we go. Also, I do like how the lemurs are cute and they're curled up and stuff. I thought it was a, I thought it was a cute detail to uh, this game that it has to offer. So there we go. Hopefully, I'm gonna wait for this wind. To... There we go. I'm gonna wait right here, and then we're free to go. So freedom, here we come. Looks like all those little guys are safe now. Wonder where everyone else ended up. Ah. Separated again. Shh. Guess I'll ask one of the locals for directions. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. Do you speak English? <sighs> oh, guess not. I'd better get out of here and see if I can hook back up with the others. Too bad, though, because it does seem like a charming seaside resort. And remember, I got all the rings here, so you won't be able to see all the lovely rings. I'm very sad that this game decides, oh, automatic save is automatic. I really wish you could turn that off, but apparently I don't think you can, actually, which is quite sad. I think it would have been better off 
if you had the option to like turn off the autosave or on. One of my complaints actually, now looking at this Let's Play and having the blue screen experience is the autosave. It's like, I had to go through autosave like twice now. And that's something yet worse to come. Um, can I kind of make sure this clan does not get pushed over by this freaking thing? Because I'm pretty sure this has the last token. I didn't get- there we go! Now you get to see 100%! Swirly lion is swirly, and that's it. That's your reward for getting 100% is swirling lions. So yay, I'm actually, actually this is the first uh, non-final level I actually did complete. Final level level, I meant to say. So, uh, okay, so we gotta go over here. It basically, it's kind of like your basic jumping areas. Also, you wanted to make sure you want a war. It's kind of funny, actually, how they die. After you war and stuff, it's like, I can't handle your war! I, I, I have to go die now, or go to sleep and sleep permanently! Hello, I almost fell off. Can I not make this? Okay, I can make this. Okay, cool. So, if you war, those guys would give you coins. First I cut them coins, and now I cut them tokens. Can I just make up my mind, or can I not make up my mind at all? Yeah, logic, right? My logic. Hey guys, have you seen the rest of my friends? Oh, they must have gone up ahead to the alternate location for our party. Where exactly is that? I'm not sure yet, but we're starting to look for them. We must consider many things. First... Wow, it's a perfectly safe looking straight path. Let's go! Uh, guys, I think we might want to be careful around here. There are some very dangerous... I don't want to hear the end of any sentences. Now let's go! Sentences, how did they work? It's best just not to argue with him. Seriously, guys, there are some of those toothy, clawy things lurking around here. What do you call them? Fusa? As king, I proclaim this a time of panic! The king has spoken. That's it! No more Mr. Nice Lion! Fusa, it's on! Okay, so we have to escort six of these lemurs. I don't say how many other. Eight lemurs, I should say, not six. So we have also have these mangoes, as you can see by our menu. We have the mango lo icon, meaning that we have mangoes involved in this level. So what we want to do is you want to roar, you want to toss mangoes. I think it's recommended that you toss mangoes because these kill these these kill the le not kill the lemurs. I almost called them uh, fusa lemurs. These kill the fusas very very easily, and trust me. That's what you want is something that can easily kill uh, these pieces. Okay, I still have these eight left. That's nice. I want to make sure I keep these out of my sight. Die, die. You also have these mega wars, which we're actually going to need in just a couple seconds. In fact, let's use that right now and make sure they leave our sight. Okay, there we go. We still have our eight. Oh, if I can get perfect this time, that'd be great. So luckily, once you have all the hoops and stuff, you don't have to worry about that. Like before, you have to worry about the hoops and uh -oh. the things in your way and stuff like that. Oh, whoa, Fusa up there, hi. That's gonna be a surprise attack. Oh, I already got it. You get out of here. Okay, there we go. Okay. No, 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 no! I got a Fusa freaking. Ah, no. I was so close to perfect. So close to perfect. Now, he's gonna get mad at me. Oh, well. He actually doesn't get mad at you. As long as you have most of the lemurs, you should be okay. As long as you're also on screen, you should be fine as well. Alright, so we have a Mega Roar. Let's use that really quickly. And, come on. Don't die. Okay, there we go. We have seven of these and more of these freaking pieces. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad. We've made it here at last. Survived another Fusa invasion completely unscathed. Well, almost unscathed. Our party is not 100% intact. Why, it even appears that Mort's beloved cousin Smort is no longer with us. Smort! Smort! Yes, yes, and now it's back to our village for a real celebration. I've never gotten the 100% message before, which is quite nice, honestly. Now, you're not gonna be seeing the whole burn with the level unlocking and then the animation for level unlocking. That has done. That has been done already. But hopefully, the screen will not go blue. In order for me to say next time, a Madagascar 
we'll be starting my favorite level, the Jungle Banquet. So until then, if you missed any of the episodes previously, or in the future, or when I want to see any of the episodes again, go ahead and check out the playlist in the description below. And until the next time, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, hope your computer does not go blue, and that's pretty much about it. The Nerd is signing off.